Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. The ATF just lied to all the law enforcement agencies in the country. Before I jump into that, I want to start this off with some good news. Thank you to everyone who had ordered and purchased a uh, new Sons of Liberty t-shirt, or in this case, a hoodie. They sold out the hoodies lightning fast, and there was some people asking for more. So I was able to convince them to print some more for us. The t-shirts and the hoodies have been restocked if you want them before they sell out again. Link is down below and in the pinned comment. Thank you for the support of this channel. It really, really helps. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you to TriStar Trading for making these awesome, awesome designs. Link's down below. All right, guys. So on your screen is the definition, according to the 1934 National Firearms Act, the NFA, of a machine gun. And I need to put this here because what I'm about to show you is the caught the ATF in a lie. It says here, for the purposes of the National Firearms Act, the term machine gun means any weapon which shoots, is designed to shoot, or can be readily restored to shoot automatically more than one shot without manual reloading by a single function of the trigger. The frame of receiver of, of any such weapon, any part designed or intended solely or exclusively or a combination of parts designed and intended for use in converting a weapon into a machine gun, which would mean it would still have to have part A by a single function of the trigger, that's key, or any combination of parts from which a machine gun can be assembled if such parts are in the possession or under the control of the person. Now. You saw, you heard, that I stressed several times single function of the trigger. Well, the ATF just changed its own definition and sent it to all law enforcement personnel related to force reset triggers. On the screen is a uh, page one of a four page document that the AFT sent to law enforcement. I'm gonna go over it quickly so that you know what the ATF just told all the police and we can catch them in their lie. You can see this is an unclassified law enforcement sensitive document from ATF to all the PDs. Scope, the AFT, Office of Strategic Intelligence Information, Criminal Intelligence Division, Analysis Production Branch, the Firearms and Ammunition Technology Division, and the Firearms and Explosives Law Division, prepared the following intelligence bulletin to assist federal, state, local, and tribal law enforcement agencies tasked with identifying and handling certain machine gun conversion devices commonly referred to as force reset triggers. This information is not intended to replace an official firearms technology criminal branch report of technical examination or firearms technology industry services branch evaluation for classification purposes under the Gun Control Act or National Firearms Act. Now, before I continue, I need to tell folks who might not be aware that the force reset trigger follows the definition of the law to a T. Every time you pull that trigger, it forces the trigger to reset, okay? It's a second function of the trigger. You pull a trigger, gun goes bang, cycles, it forces a reset of the trigger. You can feel it move your finger forward and allows you to shoot again. It's not just one function of a trigger like the definition requires. Here's page two. Page two is a quick background. ATF is aware of several recent incidents in which law enforcement officers encountered the use of firearms that were unlawfully converted to machine guns. These weapons can pose a substantial safety risk to law enforcement and to the public. Most aftermarket drop-in triggers are designed to reduce the trigger pull weight or reduce trigger travel and allow for a more rapid subsequent shot after a shooter releases the trigger. FRTs are generally marketed as replacement triggers for AR type or other semi-automatic firearms. Unlike traditional triggers and binary triggers, sometimes also referred to as FRTs, some FRTs do not require shooters to pull and then subsequently release the trigger to fire a second projectile. Instead, these FRTs utilize the automatic firing cycle inherent in the trigger design to eliminate the need for the shooter to release the trigger before a second round may be fired. Now remember the definition, folks, of machine gun. It is single function of the trigger, not single pull of the trigger. ATF has changed the definition without going through Congress to try to force the issue here and ban these items. Moving on, ATF's examination found that when assembled with a semi-automatic firearm, 
these devices allow a firearm to shoot automatically more than one shot without manual reloading with a single continuous pull of the trigger. For this reason, ATF has concluded that such a device is a combination of parts designed and intended for use in converting a weapon into a machine gun and are therefore properly classified as machine guns as defined by the National Firearms Act and the Gun Control Act because we just lied to make it so. As such, FRTs are machine guns. They are subject to the GCA prohibitions regarding the possession, transfer, and transport of machine guns under 18 U.S.C. 922 and O and 922A4. They are also subject to registration, transfer, taxation, and possession restrictions under the NFA. Under 26 U.S.C. 5871, any person who violates or fails to comply with the provisions of the NFA shall be fined $10,000 per violation and is subject to imprisonment for a term of up to 10 years in prison. Further, pursuant to 26 U.S.C. 5872, any machine gun possessed or transferred in violation of the NFA is subject to seizure and forfeiture. So they just made everybody who has an FRT trigger a felon by lying and changing the definition and lying to the police. Identification. When installed in an AR-type firearm, the trigger may not be apparent. If the FRT is installed, there is added danger to the shooter and any unintended targets due to the high rate of fire created by the addition of this trigger. Figure 1 below is a representation of an FRT produced and sold as a replacement trigger for AR-type firearms. These FRTs may be identified by the presence of an additional component that interacts with the firearm bolt and ultimately permits the firing of subsequent shots with a single function of the trigger. As shown, the components of the FRTs are contained within a single housing. They are designed as drop-in parts to replace the factory hammer, trigger, and other fire control components. The internal components of FRTs typically include fire control components to initiate and perform the firing sequence, including a hammer and a trigger. However, FRTs contain additional parts that allow a weapon to shoot automatically. Lie. More than one shot with a single function of the trigger. Included in the additional parts is the part that interacts with the firearm bolt, circled in red in figure one, and referred to as the locking bar. And that's the picture up above. Finally, page four. Figure three below presents the side view of an AR-type firearm with an FRT installed. The locking bar is identified here by the now black arrow. Note that the presence of such a component does not definitively indicate that the drop-in device is a machine gun. However, the presence of such a component should alert law enforcement to that possibility. Some drop-in triggers may have such a component, but may also incorporate a disconnector or similar feature to ensure that the trigger must be released before the second shot is fired. Such devices are not likely to allow the host weapon to automatically shoot more than one shot without manual reloading by a single trigger function. The Outlook. Parts and combinations of parts designed and intended to convert weapons into machine guns are commonly known as conversion devices. Although machine guns accounted for less than 1%, 0.46% of all firearms recovered and traced during calendar years 2017 to 2021, machine gun conversion devices seized through the course of an ATF investigation saw a 438% increase from calendar year 2020 to calendar year 2021. It is important that law enforcement officers are aware of conversion devices like FRTs and how to identify them to avoid accidental discharges and related mishaps when handling these firearms and keep your freaking booger hooks off the trigger. Additionally, immediate identification of an FRT that is properly classified as a machine gun permits law enforcement agencies to coordinate with ATF early in the investigative process. And then the contact which was redacted. Guys and gals, this is tyranny in front of you. Gave you the definition. That's what the world, according to firearms in America, has been operating under since 1934. The ATF here in black and white lied, changed the definition of machine gun, and just with a stroke of, well, with four pages printed out, just told all state, local, federal, and tribal law enforcement that anybody who has these is in possession of a machine gun that should have been transferred properly taxed accordingly, and you're a felon facing a decade in prison and a huge fine.
Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you think down below. We know that they visited places that make these and we know that it's on their radar. And we know that the ATF is a bunch of corrupt administrative thugs who have daddy issues, who don't have the power that they think they have. You have no constitutional authority to make law. You have no constitutional authority to change law. Yet because Bobo Biden wants these things gone and more, you think you have the power. Well, these triggers were made to challenge the ATF. And, you know, Rare Breed Triggers is fighting the ATF on this. And you know what? I'm glad they are. Let me know what you think down below, guys and gals, about this. Caught him red-handed. <laughs> Caught him red-handed. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Remember, a gun on your hip is more effective than a cop on a phone. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, they're back in, back in uh, stock, ready to fly off the shelves. Take care.